Semisonic is an American alternative rock band formed in Minneapolis, Minnesota in 1995. The band has three members, Dan Wilson, lead vocals, guitar, keyboards, John Munson, bass guitar, keyboards, backing vocals, guitar, and Jacob Slichter, drums, percussion, keyboards, backing vocals. They are best known for their 1998 single, Closing Time. Topic. History Topic. Formation and debut album After the breakup of Trip Shakespeare, Dan Wilson and John Munson joined up with drummer Jacob Slichter to form Semisonic in 1995. An EP, Pleasure, was released that year on Boston indie label Cherry Disc, and the studio full-length Great Divide in 1996 on MCA. Topic. Breakthrough and international success Semisonic's breakthrough came two years later in 1998 when their second album, Feeling Strangely Fine, reached the top 50 chart on the strength of the hit single, Closing Time, their biggest hit in the United States. In a 2008 performance at Harvard's Sanders Theater, Wilson made it known that it was originally written about the birth of his first child. Their international career also blossomed when another song from the album, Secret Smile, quickly became a UK radio favorite in the summer of 1999, eventually peaking at number 13 on the UK singles chart. Topic. Third album and split In early 2001, the band released its third album, All About Chemistry. The single, Chemistry, was a mainstay overseas, however, the album did not fare as well in the United States. Another song, Over My Head was used in the 2001 teen flick Summer Catch, and Semisonic rode the wave of various tours in and around the UK. Wilson has spoken of doing more Semisonic music in the future but said, The busy day-to-day -day life keeps pushing it further into the future. All About Chemistry remains their last studio album. Topic. Reunion. The band reunited for a series of two shows on June 14, 2017 in St. Paul and June 16, 2017 in Minneapolis for the first time in nearly five years. The St. Paul show at a smaller venue served as a live rehearsal for the Minneapolis show at famed Minneapolis Club First Avenue. The band followed similar set lists for the shows, playing the album Great Divide in its entirety with a few additional songs, including a live debut of the Wilson penned, Basement Tapes. Semisonic played together again in December 2017 with a similar combination of St. Paul and Minneapolis shows, but added a second show at First Avenue. The set list for these shows was the feeling strangely fine track list with some supplemental songs including live debuts of two songs. In 2018, Feeling Strangely Fine was given a re-release for the album's 20th anniversary, including its first vinyl pressing. Topic. Discography Topic. Eps Pleasure Demo 1993 Pleasure EP 1995 Topic. Studio albums Great Divide 1996 Feeling Strangely Fine 1998 all About Chemistry, 2001. Topic. Live albums 
One Night at First Avenue, 2003. Topic: Singles. Topic: Soundtracks and compilations. Semisonic performed Sugar Sugar with Mary Lou Lord on the 1995 tribute album Saturday Morning, Cartoon's Greatest Hits, produced by Ralph Saul for MCA Records. Semisonic contributed the title song for the 1999 Kevin Costner movie For Love of the Game. Over My Head. A bonus track on some editions of All About Chemistry, was used in the 2001 teen flick Summer Catch. Closing Time. Appeared in the 2011 movie Friends with Benefits. In the fall of 2001, Semisonic contributed their cover of the Wings song, Jet. For the Paul McCartney tribute CD Listen to What the Man Said. Wilson with Bic Runga contributed. Good Morning Baby, to the American Pie soundtrack in 1999. FNT was featured in the 1996 movie The Long Kiss Goodnight and the 1999 movie Ten Things I Hate About You. Closing Time was included in an episode of The Office. It was also featured in the season finale of The Real World Seattle. Topic Other projects by members Wilson took time out to do some solo projects and play tour dates around the Midwest in December. Munson joined Wilson's brother and former Trip Shakespeare frontman Matt Wilson to form a side project, The Flops, in 2001, though they were expected to make a final performance in early 2005. In 2009, John Munson and Matt Wilson reunited to form a new band The Twilight Hours. Since forming they have released an album, Stereo Night, and have been touring. In 2004, Slichter's book So You Wanna Be a Rock and Roll Star ISBN was published, detailing some of the experiences the group had while touring and attempting to get airplay on radio stations across the U.S. In late spring of 2005, John Munson began playing in a new jazz trio, The New Standards, featuring Chan Poling of the Suburbs and Steve Rome. This band plays new jazz renditions of classic songs. On October 16, 2007, Rick Rubin's label American Recordings released Wilson's solo album, Free Life, featuring collaborations with numerous artists including Munson and Slichter. The song, Cry, was the album's single. 